那个是氧气来的 ，oxygen 来的。哦、oh, ，OK。啊，你不要动，啊，不要动啊。Hi, I'm Dr. Gerard Albin Martin, consultant neurosurgeon here at Sunway Medical Center, Velocity. This is a 65-year-old male patient who presented to us with a history of left lower limb weakness, which lasted for four months. When we met him at A&E, he had a one-day history of headaches, which prompted us to do a CT scan for him. And the CT scan findings reveal subtle findings, which then prompted us to proceed with an MRI study. Which, in which we, we then discovered that he had a tumor residing in the right frontal portion of his brain, and this explained his left lower limb weakness. Not be, 完全麻木，完全冇曬 feeling， 唔係俾啊拖住佢嘅，完全冇曬力，冇曬 feeling 啊，冇感覺嘅。In view of the fact of the position of the tumor within his brain, we proceeded to do what's known as a functional MRI here in Velocity. And coupled it with a diffusion tensor imaging, or otherwise known as a DTI. And what DTI studies reveal, they help us to understand how the motor fibers or the corticospinal tract travel around the tumor. And in this regard, we will be able to plan our surgery. And instead of employing conventional techniques of craniotomy and excising the tumor, we decided to employ awake craniotomy techniques. In which the patient would be kept awake while we perform the surgery and excise the tumor, therefore safely avoiding his motor fibers, the corticospinal tracts responsible for governing movement in his lower limbs. Now, the reason why we do this awake、uh, craniotomy is because certain tumors are in very important areas of the brain, especially areas that control your speech. And also areas that control movements of the body. So these are certain functions that we need to be able to see whether we are near it, whether we are going to damage it,、uh, in order for us to try to preserve this function. And the best way for us to do it is while the patient is awake. The main challenges for these kind of cases tend to be the patient selection itself. In the sense that it's extremely daunting for patients to have their skull open and a surgeon removing their brain bit by bit. In this sense, we are very lucky, as Mr. Kam, our patient, was very motivated from the word go, and he was able to remain totally calm and totally cool throughout the entire procedure. And this truly made our lives so much easier. These sort of cases also entail a huge cooperation. Among the surgical teams, the anesthetic teams, and the entire operating room staff, and I'm really glad that everyone came together and gave their best to make this case a success. Postoperatively, he was managed in the ICU, and subsequently, on day two, he was transferred to our general ward and discharged on day three. This patient has made very good recovery. A word of advice to our community out there: if you're having headaches. Coupled with findings such as weakness or, or numbness in your limbs, or in certain areas of your body, or slurring of speech, or even blurring of vision, it is important to have them checked. For we may be able to intervene in a timely manner to provide safe treatment and favorable outcome for you.